I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. One of the things I love about co-hosting Political Beatdown, a podcast on the Midas Touch Network with Michael Cohen, is the epic Michael Cohen rant. Here was the one from our last show that literally left me speechless. Play the clip. First part that you have to break down there is take a look at the lunacy of Lauren Boebert. I don't know why she thinks it's funny, this ultra MAGA. I don't even know what it means. It, it's, it's stupid, but then again, so is she. She's a fucking ass clown of the most major magnitude. End of story. The fact that she continues to be a member of Congress really just goes to show how this country is declining, or at least the folks that you know are electing her, the people of her, you know, we'll call it her constituents, so to speak. Um, it is really disgraceful. The fact that she can even be on a committee with the stupidity coming out of her mouth, it doesn't matter that we don't agree with what she's saying. It's the fact that she's wearing an AR-15 pin on her lapel, thinking that that's funny. What about all the families of children or innocent people who were murdered as a direct result of this gun craze, the Second Amendment nonsense that is constantly being pushed upon us by the NRA and by the MAGAs, all right? This is ridiculous. The fact that she could do something, which goes to show you that she's she doesn't have empathy. She's basically not even human. Then you take and you compare it to somebody like Jamie Raskin. And God bless, let each and every one of us take a minute out of our day today and pray for Jamie that he, you know, that he gets through his issue. Um, he is a wonderful, wonderful human being. He is a wonderful American. And the fact that he stands up there with, you know, the, the, Dureg on his head. I believe that one was given to him by Stephen Van Zant. I know one of them was given, which I thought was really cool. Stephen is a wonderful guy. I, I knew him in the past. Um, he's a great guy. Gave him and sent him one of those uh, you know, headscarves that he wears all the time. Let's all pray for Jamie Raskin. But the fact that he can get up there as he does each and every time, making the most poignant of arguments as to why what the Republican MAGAs, what the Republicans are doing is injurious to our country's democracy and our future. Again, is just additional kudos to a man who, and anybody who knows anyone who has gone through chemotherapy knows that it takes a lot out of you. But he comes with the fire, he comes with the passion, and that's not something that you can make up. That's something that's in him. And again, thank God for Jamie Raskin. God bless. Then you get Hakeem Jeffries, who comes in and just calm, cool, collect, talks factual. None of this enraging bullshit that the MAGAs have decided to use in order to fundraise, because that's all they're doing. This is all about grifting and fucking their, you know, their constituents out of the few dollars that they have left for their own coffers so that they could use it for their own personal benefits like the George Santos's of the world, all right, or the Donald Trump's of the world. Stockpile a ton of cash because you know you're going to need it for probably your own litigation, your own representation, because God forbid a billionaire should pay his own legal fees uh, and so on. I mean, the whole thing is crazy. There could not be a greater dichotomy, not just between the way that the message is given, but the message in and of itself. So. You know, there's no, there's no doubt it's why this MAGA stronghold that Donald Trump has is diminishing on a daily basis, not just with followers. I mean, think about it. A big part of his MAGA followers were who? The Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys and these white supremacist groups. And so, well, here's the big problem for them. They're all being prosecuted at, you know, pretty significant um, numbers and also getting jail sentences. Well, most of these folks are using public defenders because they don't have a pot to piss in. And so what happened to their, you know, their fearless leader? What about their Fuhrer who now has over 200 plus million banked into his uh, first America pact or whatever the hell he calls it, but he's not going to waste one single dollar 
representing or paying for any of these people because that just, in his mind, takes a dollar out of his pocket. He sees that money as his money. And you know why, my friends, you know why he sees it that way? Because 90 cents of every dollar that he collects, according to his pack, he is allowed to use at his own discretion, which basically means that's his money. He could go buy an airplane with it. He could go buy a house with it. He could pay his legal fees. He can do whatever he wants with it. He has 90% discretion over those funds. And the other 10% has to be given to other political purposes, other candidates and so on, or his own candidacy. I mean, the whole thing is a giant fucking scam of the most major magnitude. And it's another thing that Merrick Garland should be looking into. This dark money bullshit has to stop. You know, as we like to call them, just a bunch of maggots. Because that's really what that's really what someone like Scott Perry is. Fuck him. And that's the way you just have to think about it. It is enough. They do it in order to get a soundbite. They do it so that they get on to Fox. They get on to Newsmax or OAN, where they end up getting interviewed by the genius herself, Lara Trump, the wife of the idiot Eric Trump, who is actually dumber than her own husband, hard to imagine, who gets up there. I mean, she used to hold the boom over at like Access Hollywood or something like that. That was her job. She can't believe that she actually has a show because she's ignorant. And that's the big problem. They put her on there for what? Because she's married to Eric Trump, plain and simple. She has no idea what she's talking about. She has no facts. Then you take someone like a Jamie Raskin, who is a lawyer. He's brilliant. He's factually based in everything that he says. And so at the end of the day, you know, how do you argue with somebody who is arguing facts versus somebody who's arguing innuendo and gut reaction? You can't because one, again, one of them is predicated off of information and facts. And the other one is, well, I think, I think, um, you know, uh, you know, I've been, I've heard, and it's, it's ignorant, it's stupid, and again, it's, it just goes. This is exactly what you're going to see. This sort of back and forth between a, a individual like a Perry and a Jamie Raskin. And at the end of the day, whether you're Republican or Democrat or Independent, really, who won that exchange? And if you think that the Republican won it, you know, I suggest that you see a psychiatrist immediately. Sometimes when I'm co-hosting with Michael Cohen and he goes on that rant and I'm just thinking about how good those rants are and how incredible Michael Cohen can break these things down and then he tosses it back to me, I think to myself, hmm, that's some really smart stuff right there that this guy's saying. I have so much fun hosting it with Michael Cohen. He and I have become great friends over time doing the political beatdown, hosting podcasts together. He is an invaluable uh, member of the Midas Touch family, and I'm proud to call him a friend, and I'm super, super, super proud of all of the work that he's done for uh, this country and really turned everything around and, and showed and set uh, a good example, as he calls it, his mea culpa is something that is good for our democracy. Thanks, Michael, and thank you for watching. Hit subscribe right now. We're on our way to 1 million subscribers thanks to your incredible support. So please hit the subscribe button now. Also, you can uh, make sure you download or you subscribe to Political Beatdown wherever you get your audio podcast. Just search Political Beatdown. I think you'll enjoy it. And you can check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Midas Touch. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ben Mysalis. Oh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're marching to 1 million subscribers. Thank you so much. The best part of waking up? Maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot Sears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com. It's 100% union made right here in the USA. I know I'm not tired of winning yet. How about you? Get yours today.